Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of my uh, semi-blind uh, hard mode nuzlocke of Pokemon Yellow Legacy. A ROM hack by YouTuber Smith plays Pokemon. And th that is quite a lot to say, and it's going to probably take me a while to get used to it. But uh, I'll do my best. So last time, this is the squad so far. So far we had a, a Weedle named Walt that died. Uh, it was it was sad. We have this Vulpix. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be very useful at all. If I'm gonna be honest, uh, Fire type Pokemon in Gen One are very are known for being very bad. You know, there's some people who think like the the starter Pokemon you pick is really meant to determine the difficulty of the game. Um. And then if you pick fire, it's supposed to be the worst. I will say... Flamethrower, Nightshade, and Fire Spin are potentially very good moves. To have for a Nuzlocke. Now that I see- yeah, I, <laughs> Nightshade alone... That might be worth keeping, uh, Vulpix around for. Um... Okay, I'm pretty sure the level cap is 12 or like 14 or something, but I'm just gonna try and get uh, some Pokemon. Uh, have you know? I'm <laughs> I'm a mess right now. I'm gonna try and get some of my Pokemon to be uh, level 12. Okay. Yeah. Good. Quick attack. I don't know when I'll need quick attack, but... Okay. And then just some more... I just need to get a knitter and female to learn double kick. Okay. The main thing I have to worry about, though, with using, uh, Nidoran female now that I think about it, is if, uh, Onyx or Geodude know Dig. So I didn't actually know this. Dig apparently is as strong as Earthquake in Gen 1. Ooh. That's bad. Okay, I gotta go to the Pokemon Center. Or not. Uh, I guess it's only poison that hurts you outside of battle. I mean, I walked to the wrong spot anyway. I thought burn hurt you outside of battle too. I guess not because that's why it only it also has the you know effect of lowering your attack. Um, yeah. So I didn't know this, but Dig has the same power of Earthquake in Gen Two normally, and it was nerfed uh, in. Um, Pokemon Crystal Legacy. I mean, excuse me, Pokemon Yellow Legacy. I'm too used to playing Pokemon Crystal Legacy after so long. Okay, double kick. We're gonna get her to tackle. Okay. Um... Where are you? Do you learn any stronger poison type attack? Ugh. Um. Yeah. And then it learns like a bunch of TMs. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get Vulpix to be level. Um, I'll just have it fight a bit in Verdian Force. Maybe level eight. Pretty decent damage. That might actually have been stupid of me, right? Okay, no. Unnecessary risk, because if that was a critical hit, that would have KO'd uh, Vulpix. Yeah. 
not playing too smart right now. I always like doing this. This Jigglypuff's here is a... I mean, I think it was there in red and blue version, but I think it's also here as a reference to the anime. Yeah, because if you have you talk to the, yeah, the Jigglypuff, then Pikachu just stops following you. And then you check on Pikachu. And it's just asleep until you talk to it, and then you wake it up. Just one of those cute things that you can do in this game. Uh, I think that guy gives you the item finder, but I'm not interested in it. Ah! Uh, um... I'm kind of not interested in going to the museum. And you need cut if you want to get the old amber. Uh, let's go to the market. I don't have that much money. But I'd like to buy some healing items if I can. No potion. Oh, there we go. Oops. Yeah. Something I noticed while playing Pokemon Crystal Legacy 2, and I don't know if this is intentional, it's just I'm not used to playing the games, is that it's really hard to get money. Uh, we do not want to start with, uh... Vulpix for this. You're still light years from facing Brock. Okay, is this guy gonna still have- okay. Uh, I think Quick Attack is more powerful, plus Diglett is fast. Okay. Oh, that was a critical hit. You can say, that was some pretty good damage. Yeah, I'm at max level. And that could be bad. So I'm at the level cap, so that was a waste of EXP. I'm pretty sure the level cap for this next gym is, um... Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Uh... Yeah, so this is gonna be a waste of EXP, but the next cap, I'm pretty sure- I imagine Brox can tell you what the next level cap is, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna either be 20 or 22. shouldn't be that bad. The worst thing that happens now is if any of his Pokemon know, um, dig. Not as much damage as I would have liked. That's probably gonna save it from being defeated, yeah. Onyx is really fast. Yeah. Part of the reason I used Growl is because Onyx knows Bide. So that's three. 
Um... Okay. Or... Okay, one more. That is bad. That is... extremely bad. But that means it knows bind, constrict, screech, and bide. Okay, so it doesn't know any rock or uh, ground moves. What do you mean I poison sting missed? Okay. Are you kidding me? Do you know tail whip or just growl? Okay. Um... Okay, well, I know what I'm doing now. thing with something like this is I'm kind of just hoping I'm able to just to you know easily one hit KO Onyx at this point with uh, Knitter and okay Okay, that should be it. Wow. Even with all those tail whips, still so much defense. Okay. Brock wasn't as, as scary as he could have been, but an Onyx that knows buying this early in the game is very scary. I think I didn't realize this conversation was over and talked to him again. Okay, and then Brock talks about being a Pokemon breeder because that's what he wants to do in the anime. Okay, so that fight went pretty well. Which means now it's going to be time for me to pick up a new Pokemon. And, uh... Get some healing items. Um, so that I'll need, I'll want for Mount Moon. Okay. So next is gonna be, what is this, Route 3 or something? Okay. 
Let's try and get some EXP on, uh, Vulpix. Yeah. You had to walk up close enough to be able to look at her, that much is true. Pidgey. Ooh. And that wasn't a critical hit? Oh. Okay. I think I've seen enough of that. Darn it. I mean, I'm fine giving EXP to Vulpix and uh, Pikachu. Lucky. Unlike Brock's Onyx. Okay. I want Tail Whip. Because I already have Nidoran for Growl. If I, oh, it's a bug trainer. Bug catcher. As long as this isn't a uh, pincer guy, I am fine with this guy being a bug catcher. not fun. I don't think Poison Sting has as high of a poison chance in Gen 1 as it did in um, Gen 2 onwards. in that. Probably should have used Thunder Wave. Okay. Let's put, uh, Nino in front. Because I'd like to get her, uh, to evolve into Nidorina. Because I'm about to get a Moonstone. Okay. Already starting to fight some pretty strong Pokemon. a lot more damage than I would have liked to take. So if this is another Ratatata Ekans. Ekans. Okay. You probably can take what two damage now? Yeah. And that just got rid of my growl. I'm kind of surprised that Ekans ended up being faster than uh, 
Nidorino. Nid Nidoran, sorry. It's like I said, Nidorino, uh... Okay. Uh... You're too important to have be on low HP. I think this is also going to probably be a lad. Oops. But let's see. That's funny. They have him there so that if you try and go around, you still have to fight the female trainer. Yeah. I imagine this is going to be a one-hit KO. Okay. Well, it's a critical. As long as I don't get poisoned. Only thing I care about when I get hit with poison sting. His last Pokemon's probably gonna be a Metapod. new Pokemon I would have won. Um, let's let Pidgey get some combat. Oh, she stops you all together from going this way. So you have to fight these two trainers. Okay, battle of the quick attacks, I guess. Pidgey is slightly stronger. Though this is gonna hurt. Ooh, yeah. Okay, whatever he sends out next, I have to switch. I said... Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. So I think Horn Attack is better than Bite. Okay. That's why it's a good thing I used the potion earlier. Okay. Um... I don't remember the evolution level for Nidorin, uh, Nidoran. I think it's 16, but it might be 18. Okay. Okay. Is this person gonna be a bug catcher or a... a I think this is gonna be a bug catcher if he's talking about shorts. Nope, youngster. Okay. Ooh. Very strong. Okay. I don't really care that much about Growl. If I'm using Ember, Growl is not that big a deal. Three growls is something, though. Not enough. Okay.
Wait, one second, now that I think about it. Uh, Vulpix. It would have to stay as the Vulpix until level 42 to get all those moves. That might be a heavy lift. But it's- it's move sets are really good. You know, cause unlike Gengar, there's no weakness against Psychic. And then if you're Psychic fighting a Ghost-type, you don't get a weakness either. So it's just one of the better options to use Ghost-type moves for Psychic and, uh, Ghost Pokémon. I mean, I could always just level grind outside of battle. Paris. Okay, twenty five and twenty five is good. Unlike dinner. Forget where else I've heard that phrase before. Okay, so what's the Pokemon I'm gonna get this time? I have my eyes closed. Mankey. Mankey. Maybe not necessarily the worst. Ooh. Okay, good. So I was going to use Thunder Wave next. It's also level 9, which is nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh... Mankey. Those are some pretty good, uh, nature values. Unless I messed up. Yeah, okay. It has good special. But... Not that much better than, uh, Pidgey. It is a lower level. Okay, what moves does it learn? Where are you, Mankey? Okay. I mean, low kick, I think, is supposed to always be a pretty good move. Maybe more in the later generations when there are more heavy Pokemon. Yeah. Mankey is definitely not a long-term Pokemon for me because I want to use uh, Hitmonchan. I can leave Pikachu in front. But Mankey will come in handy... Uh, <laughs> did I touch it? No. Uh, Mankey will come in handy in Mount Moon. Ooh, Jigglypuff. The battle that was always meant to be. Uh, Jigglypuff has bad defense, so I kind of just want to use Quick Attack. Or maybe not. Okay, this is going to be bad. Let's see, how much is that gonna do? Ooh. And then, yeah, cause Mankey would, uh... Okay. I have to switch then. Uh, switch into... You. How did it know? Am I gonna have to sacrifice something on this thing? And that was the move I was gonna use. 
critical hit, of course. Great. Can't lose uh Jigglypuff. I mean uh Nidoran. Finally. Let's see how this goes. A bit better. Oh my gosh. That's why sleep is so dangerous. Pokemon that I can have fight right now. If I talk to Pikachu, I think that wakes it up, right? Or no? Nope. But it still knows to follow me. I don't think this guy's a trainer. Uh, let's... Where's the town map? Okay. Still the same route. Uh, who wasn't asleep? If this guy... Uh, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but I don't want to fight a trainer if he's a trainer. Turn. Okay. Finally, I made it to Pokemon Center. Okay. Who are you? Okay. Okay, and that guy sells you the magic carp, which I don't need. Okay. I actually don't remember if this guy even is a trainer. No, he's not. Okay. Uh, before I go to Mount Moon, I'm gonna buy some more potions. Because that was scary. That Jigglypuff. I think the thing I should get from, uh, doing these, uh, routes so far is that at the end of the route, it looks like there's a trainer that's much stronger, or at least scarier, compared to the other trainers that you fought. Like, last time there was... Um, the pincer bug catcher. This time there's that Jigglypuff. Okay. Okay. That'll give me more items for, uh, Mount Moon. One thing I will say is if I do end up wiping out, I will, uh, whatchamacallit, still beat the game, just, uh, it won't be a Nuzlocke anymore. Okay, I'm gonna save. Alright, what's the Pokemon I'll end up catching here? Pokemon? Um... This is a long time without finding a Pokemon. Water Gun. I don't think I have anything that could learn Water Gun. At first, I thought this person wasn't going to be a trainer, and then it's like, nope, trainer. Okay. Weedle.
I shouldn't even be using Mankey, and that's why I shouldn't be using Mankey. Water Gun, though. Is there any Pokemon that I'd even want to treat, uh, teach Water Gun? E drill, that makes sense. Ooh. I'm not surviving another one of those. Good thing Pursuit is not in this game. Okay, that's better. Okay. Oh, this was a trainer. I thought this person just tells you about Clefairy. I didn't know that th she was a trainer. Or maybe she has a Clefairy. Yeah. I knew that there was some connection to her and Clefairy. Not a lot of damage. Oh, Mike. You've got to be kidding me. Well, there goes my Mankey. Uh, good thing it didn't get that much EXP. I just realized I, did, I completely forgot to nickname Mankey. That's probably why it fainted. Oh my gosh, that was too close. That was too close for comfort. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with all this. Okay, Zubat. Now I know why Mankey lost. It's because I forgot to nickname it. Zubat is also not a Pokemon that is good for long-term, uh, potential. Okay. Zubat. Uh, I would like Zubat to be level 12. But I don't know how easy that's going to be to do. What are your moves? You're going to have Super Son. Oh, you have Gust already. Okay. Leech Life, I'm pretty sure, was buffed. But I don't think it's, like, super strong. Uh, acid and sludge. Sludge, I think, is kind of like sludge bomb. Is how it was buffed. Okay. okay. 
I'm not gonna have Zubat fight something like a Spearow. But I lost Mankey. I don't really think losing Mankey hurts me that much. That's like double not very effective. Yeah. Um... Low kick caused flinching. Oh, that did a lot of damage. But that gust should KO. It's a really high level Spiro. Okay, level eight. Those are some bad stats, though. As long as it uses low kick, I'm fine. But if it uses scratch, that's when things start to get dangerous. Yeah, that... Oh, that was a critical hit. I was like, ugh. Because I'd rather not level grind too much. Rattata Nidoran is the best Pokemon to switch into. Especially since it's such a high level. Oh, Oddish. That should be good for uh, Zubat. Leech Seed, interesting. Those are all moves Oddish normally wouldn't learn this early. I think that's good enough for Mountain Moon. Okay. What I really need is for, uh... Nidoran to evolve. Mankey was the better starter for Mountain Moon. Because of Geodude. But hopefully I don't run into that many wild Geodude. good. Not... Oh. Well. Okay, as long as I'm not getting confused. Oh. This guy isn't... This is a Pokemaniac. So is he gonna have... Oh, nerd. Super nerd. Oh, it's not fair. Magnemite isn't Steel-type in this game. And that probably won't do a lot of damage. But better than I thought. I don't know what's gonna be stronger. Quick Attack or Ember, Ember is much stronger. I 
because this guy, I hope he doesn't have that was bad. I don't know what level Magnemite learns Supersonic Voltorb. Uh... Yeah, because I don't want to deal with confusion. Well, that's an interesting move for Voltorb to know. A lot more damage than I thought it would do. Hurt yourself in confusion, yes. Does it even learn Thunder Shock in Gen 1? I, I'm pretty sure it learns Thunder. Roar is useless. Yeah, the best Pokemon I have to lead for fighting wild Pokemon is uh, Nidoran. And I care more about... Uh, ball picks than I do Zubat. Potion, good. Zubat. Not good. Okay. I really would like a rare candy. I wouldn't really like a rare candy. Uh, I would really like for Nidoran to evolve before I fight Team Rocket, because Team Rocket's definitely the boss of uh, this cave. Yeah. So if the other person had a Weedle and a Water, uh, Weedle and Beedrill, this person's probably- this bug catcher probably gonna have Caterpie and Butterfree. That's too bad. Interesting choice. Oh, that was weird. I actually KO'd it, unlike the Caterpie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't move because Pikachu's in your way. That's annoying. Okay, escape rope. I'm not gonna ever have a use for that, I think. And this takes me back, uh... Not where I thought I would be. This is a dead end. Or not? Uh, I'm gonna run from that Zubat. Yeah. Or maybe I'm... I, if I'm fighting Team Rocket, this has to be like the first Team Rocket trainer you fight. Sand true. Not good.
Also not good. And this is why I should have used Sand Attack. So now I'm gonna have to switch out Pidgey. not that much damage. Okay, perfect. Okay. For the first person from Team Rocket for me to fight, this guy was pretty weak. Okay, definitely pretty weak. You blew it! Okay. Oh, Paris, that's easy EXP. Okay. Um, if I'm about to fight a lass, I kind of want to have Pikachu out first. Oh, run. Don't want to fight that. Okay. And that is not a Pokemon I wanted to fight. Actually, this was super dumb of me. Uh, oh, I should have used. You know why that was super dumb of me? Because I should have used Leaf Leech Life because I was double super effective. Now I've just lost Zubat. I mean, I wasn't planning on using Zubat long term, but that was entirely avoidable. Bellsprout. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have uh, Vulpix out. Right now, I have to say, as far as early game goes, Fire type is actually pretty decent because of all the grass and bug Pokemon. It's just when it comes to, like, really strong boss trainers, other than the guy who had the pincer, they don't help out that much. And then I could have sworn there was, like, another, uh... Now that I have Pikachu out, I'm running into Geodude. There was, like, another staircase that went nowhere. It's been a while since I've explored Mount Moon. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, like here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Mega Punch. Mega Punch. That would be pretty useful, maybe? I don't know. I kind of don't want to teach it to, uh... Uh, Needle Queen, because Needle Queen's gonna learn Body Slam. Seconds. This has to be an item. Ooh. I guess since it's a hidden item, there's a different, uh, jingle. So, if that's the case, I think I was probably right... ...that this part of the cave here leads to a room with nothing in it. Other than this Team Rocket guy. Oh, Clefairy. Uh, I feel bad running away from Clefairy, because Clefairy's like the super rare Pokemon of Mountain Moon. HP up. I am going to give that to... Uh, 
Nidoran, because something tells me Nidoran is a Pokemon I am going to be using as much as I can at this entire run. Okay. Pikachu, I'm hoping, will be able to solo uh, Misty. There's no way it learns Thunder Punch b before level 20. Oh, it learns Thunder Punch at 20. Nice. Okay, Thunder Punch will come in handy for Misty. I hope this isn't a bug trainer. I think I should have... Yeah, a lad. Or a youngster. Switch to you. Actually, I don't even think Sancher would know Dig. A bit more damage than I would have liked. Hopefully that helps with... Yeah. Well, I was hoping that would help with Fury Swipes, but I guess not. I think three sand attacks is good. Okay. He has another sand true. I'm gonna switch. Zubat. Zubat. That's super effective, right? Oh no. It should have been super effective. It used to be super effective. I'm getting them mixed up. Something I have to look out for that I should put uh, Nino in front for, actually, <laughs> is there's the hiker here who's going to have um, Geodude and potentially Onyx again. Okay, that's the hiker, I'm pretty sure. That's the Moonstone. Right? Okay. Uh, alright. Hopefully this guy doesn't have an onyx. Whoa, you shocked me! The hiker. I think their sprite is pretty much the same in crystal version, or in gold-silver. Okay. Perfect. So, either I have Nido Queen at this level or in another couple. Okay, Onyx is still very dangerous for me to fight.
This Onyx still new tackle. Okay. Wow, shocked again, yes. Alright, so now I have Nido Queen. And Nido Queen will make for a very good crutch Pokemon. Oh. That's that's evil. That's so evil. Oh no. Oh no, I wanted to evolve so bad, but there but Mr. Smith is like, "Up, oh, here's Dig." Ah, even if I get a TM for Dig, it's it's so it's still too good to pass up on. And then there's also the TM for Body Slam. I mean, you could get all the all like so many TMs for everything. Honestly, the reason I'm gonna just keep Nidoran uh, N as Nidorina instead of Nido Queen, in addition to Dig, is because Misty's a Water type gym leader, and I don't want to have a gr my Ace Pokemon. You know, even though I should be able to just solo it with Pikachu. You know get hit by, like, a random water gun or something. Okay. Uh, I think I'm almost up to when you fight Team Rocket. And by Team Rocket, I mean Jesse and James. Okay. Never know if you'll get lucky, or maybe I was faster because he used quick attack last time. Bit more damage than I thought that would do, actually. So far, Pikachu's stats are pretty balanced. Like, what are what are your stats? 31 defense, but otherwise, like, 25 special. I mean, that's better than Pidgey. But it's, you know, kind of worse than Vulpix. Yeah. 27 attack is pretty close to Pikachu. Like, so far, it, it, Nidoran evolving didn't do much for it. Okay. Okay. Still in good health, I guess. And give me all the Zubats you want, that's free EXP for Pikachu. Oh, I guess I should see. What's your, uh, usage? Okay. Ooh. Um... Am I already at the end? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna fight this guy, and then I fight Team Rocket. I think this guy might have a Slowpoke, which would be very beneficial to me. Grimer. Not super beneficial to me. Especially since Grimer... Okay, not, that's fine. Grimer would normally potentially know Sludge, 
pound is fine, right? Yeah. Double team, I do want to learn. Torb. Uh, I'm just curious. Yeah. So I can paralyze in Gen 1 electric type Pokemon. That was pretty interesting. So far, Voltorb hasn't been paralyzed, like fully paralyzed. I'm kind of just using double team a lot on the hopes that it all, uh, you know, get fully paralysis like that. I probably should have maxed out my avoid there. There really wouldn't have been a har any harm in doing so. So I think this is a good move set. Well, I gotta think if I really. Because Pikachu can learn Surf and Fly in this game, and I gotta think if I want Pikachu to know Surf, which I think I might want to replace with a Quick Attack. I just want Pikachu to be at full health for Team Rocket. Um, I actually don't know which one is better. I feel like I should take the Helix Fossil for memes, though. I like Kabuto more. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use really either of them. Yeah, I'll take the Helix Fossil. I mean, you're able to get both of them anyway. Um. Okay, now for the real boss of Mount Moon. Where you fight, I think, once you go down the... S yeah. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Is it? Yeah, it's just Rocket wants to fight. Probably be too difficult to say, you know, Musashi and Kojiro want to fight. Okay, let's see how bad this goes. Okay. Gonna try and max out Pikachu's Evade and see how that goes. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of Double Team or uh, Thunder Wave. Like, this just has too much potential to be, like, super beneficial. <laughs> or not. Now I'm gonna get poisoned, right? Okay. I could do one more uh, double team, but I think this is fine. So much for all my double team. Okay. It's like I did all that double teaming, and now what's going to end up happening is that I don't want to risk Pikachu getting KO'd by Meowth. Or... Wheezing, yeah. Yeah, my defense fell. It's not where it's too risky.
That's... Okay, not as much damage as I would have thought. That is bad. If this... This could be a KL right here. Okay. Twenty defense. So you do have, I think, on the lower end of defense. Same as Pidgey. Okay, Pikachu's is pretty good. I should have switched into Nidorina in the first place anyway. Ooh, yeah, I was gonna say that had to be a critical hit. That's gonna hurt a lot, though. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's over. It's so over. I don't have it. I like that's it. There's nothing I can do. Like getting flinched twice just completely screwed me over. Okay. Darn it. Okay, I needed to sacrifice Pidgey. And I might have to sacrifice, uh... Uh... Bullpix now, too. Volpix survived, and I'm able to catch two new Pokemon now anyway. Okay, well, yeah, because, I mean, I'm about to get an, a bunch of Pokemon, because I could get, I get Bulbasaur, I think Charmander, no, maybe I can't get Bulbasaur yet. Thank you, Pikachu. I'm glad you believe in me. Oh, I'm out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because if... Uh, Vulpix did faint, I would be able to get... Charmander. Razor Wind not helpful for me right now. Okay. And with that, I am in Cerulean City. Okay. Sorry, Priam and Zeke. Okay. Mount Moon was very scary because Nid Arena got outsped and flinched. We couldn't get off double kick. But uh, Vulpix pulled through due to some luck. But otherwise, I think I still would have been able to beat the Meowth with just some quick attacks and stuff like that. But losing uh, Priam kind of hurts a bit. But anyway, that's going to do it for this part. Next time is going to be the Nugget Bridge in Cerulean Gym, along with any new Pokemon I could catch. So thanks for your time, everyone. Hope you have a good day.